see it's off so we can't use the tailstock anymore we're going to move it out of the way so now we're going to clean it up take a couple of more measurements sand it part it off put it in a Jacob's chuck and finish it up so the first thing I want to do is take this little nub off right here on the end make it a little bit concave Put a small chamfer just on the edge here. Smooth this all out. Fix the post up in here, which you probably can't see. It's a little bit rough. I'm going to do some sanding on it. I want to make it pretty and go from there. Very delicate here. Not much concave, just a little. Just a tiny hair of the chamber right there. Of course, we're going to start with 80 grit. I found you don't want the handle too smooth because it's better to be able to get your fingers to get some traction on it, so I leave it a little rough. I don't sand the handle through 600. Maybe 240, that's it. I love the sand. Oh yeah. Yeah. You can tell I'm being facetious there. I was given a class the other day, a workshop. One of the young ladies that was um, taking it told me her favorite thing was sanding. She loved the sand. I asked her if she wanted to be my helper. Do all my sanding for me. I don't want to stand too far over this way because I've still got to finish this end off. Getting inside is a little tricky. My finger won't get in here, so I gotta use my little scraper. You gotta really be careful. You've got to fin finish this handle up completely because it gets uh, it's how we remount, reverse mount the tippy top into a Jacob's chuck as a final finish. So we've got to get our handle completely done. Got to get a little finish on it. You want it nice and smooth there so it can stand up. And it's got to flip up and dance on this end. Just 
ever so lightly I feel that dimple with my fingers. A little concave dimple. Friction polish. I found a little eyedropper really is a good tool for putting this polish on. You get it right where you want it. It don't splash all over you. Works great. And I'm going to just let it rub until I feel a little bit of heat. I want that heat to act as an agent to melt that carnauba wax that's in this solution. That's good there. Okay, that's good enough for government. Okay, looking pretty good. I think we, uh, I think we're about to the point where we got this tippy top tamed. Okay, let's part it off and reverse chuck it. Remember, we want to maintain that curve. And we just want it just a little bit flat on the very, very end. We'll do that when we reverse chuck it. Hope you can see that. Okay, we don't want her going. We don't want her getting loose. Pretty good looking. We'll see. Slightly flat. Do not want to tip on that. Because if you get a tip on it, it'll stand up and spin on that tip. It won't flip over. Well, I think we bagged this tippy top. It's been a long hunt. Missed a lot of shots, but in the end, I think we bagged this sucker. And there it is. Let's check out the measurements. Okay, 17 point 91 35.22 40.04 uh -oh, we missed this one 25 supposed to be 30. Hmm. That could be a problem.
Well, YouTubers, my hunt is over, and I was able to bag my trophy tippy top. Turned out pretty good. I'm going to label this one A+. This is the one that I made from exactly from the specs that I showed in the video, and it works uh, probably 90% of the time. It's my trophy tippy top. The other two, they work pretty good, but I wouldn't label them as trophies. I would classify this particular tippy top as a trophy. So although I bagged a couple of smaller ones, this is my trophy right here. It dances really nice. So here's my challenge. Get a copy of my blueprint and see if you can make a tippy top from my specs and see how well it performs. I think you'll have a lot of fun doing it. I certainly had a lot of fun making this video and these tops. Amused my friends astounded my wife, surprised myself. I learned some stuff. The first thing I learned was spinning the top is not natural. I mean, you just don't pick up a top and start spinning it. It takes some practice and some technique and a lot of luck. I hope you'll take what I learned and try to make your own tippy top. It's not as easy as you think but it is a lot of fun. Hope you had a lot of fun with this video. Hope I entertained you. I hope I brought a smile to your face and I hope you learned something. This is Wood Pops on Spinning Tops. See you next time YouTube.